Happy Friday, everybody. It is Friday, April 26th. My name's Caroline. This is a Stitch With Me video. Um, and there is a Facebook group that you can join us on called Friday Off The Grid, uh, where lots of us get together. We, we kind of, we say that it's on Friday nights, but really it's morphed into week long, but the, the posts tend to fly fast and furious, mostly starting on Friday, going throughout the weekend. So hope you'll join us over there. I have been looking forward, it's lunchtime here in London, Ontario. I've been looking forward to this, sitting down to record a Stitch With Me video. This has been my reward that I've been looking forward to uh, all week. And I've been thinking all along, oh, I can't wait to get to the roof on my house because that's what I was going to work on t for today's video because it's uh, very easy stitching, just back and forth, no worries. Uh, I can easily talk and stitch at the same time. And pulled my project out this morning to uh, get my setup going here. And look what I discovered. I already stitched the roof and I had completely forgotten. So, what I'm gonna do today instead is start filling in my windows. So this is uh, Little House Needleworks, the ABC Sampler House series. As you can see, I am doing it all on one gigantic piece of fabric. This is a 32 count linen, and I am using the called for threads for the patterns. So um, the windows and the door and you can see I, I did fill in the hair of my little lady. She still doesn't have a face. Seems to be a theme with me. She still doesn't have a face. I, I do not have uh, the called for color at hand. So she's going to remain faceless at least for the next couple of days. And, uh, oh, and handless as well. She doesn't have any hands. And I realized when I was looking at this this morning, the it's only the hands. I, I missed these two stitches in here on her arms, one and two. She needs arms. So she's missing a head, hands, and arms. But uh, like I said, I'm going to work on the windows. The called for color on the windows and the door uh, is a classic Colorworks hickory sticks. Now my threads for this design, I've been keeping in a plastic, one of those small plastic tubs because all of these charts use the same colors except there's a few extra um, over dyed flosses or variegated, you know, the variegated cottons. There's a few extras for each design. So just to keep it handy, I keep it in this plastic thing with the pattern and um, I keep that in a project bag together, one of the small ones. So everything is still together, but that way I don't have my flosses in individual floss bags. Just, I don't know, I because I have one, one of these little plastic cases, so I use it. That's, that's why, no other particular reason other than that, just to uh, use something. So it's not that it's a favorite way or anything, because certainly nothing in there <laughs> clearly is organized. However, I can still, find what I need. So we are working with hickory sticks. So I do keep the extra bit of floss that I'm working with on the other end. Conveniently, there's already a hole there to pop it through. So let's, uh, let's install some windows. Oh, so yeah, Friday, I have been busy, busy sewing all week. Lots of, of uh, sewing work this week. I am currently making some, I'm finishing up some drawstring bags today. They've been going a little slower than I'd hoped. They're a little bit more of a fiddly bag to make than the other style with the zipper. I know that seems strange because most people talk about installing zippers as though it's something that's that's uh, very challenging, but because I make far fewer drawstring bags than any other style of bag, it's like 
it's like doing anything else that you don't do on a regular basis. It takes a little bit of time to remember what you're doing and how to go about it. And, uh, yeah. So anyways, there you go. So it's just been taking me a little bit longer than I had hoped to get those drawstrings done. So I'm really, I'm, I'm really going to try and keep my, my lunchtime stitching break here to about half an hour because I really have to get back and finish those up so that I can uh, be done my sewing work for the week and get those out in the mail. Sometimes those stitches don't look as neat and tidy as I'd like them to, but that's okay. Carrying on. Hickory Sticks is a really, really nice color. One of my favorites of the classic color works. It's the perfect shade for so many things. So you will forgive me today. I This is going to be the first video in a while that I do not go back over uh, questions and comments from the week before. And I apologize in advance. Uh, it, it, I, it would be my preference to do so, so that um, I make sure that I acknowledge and show my appreciation for the fact that, that you talk back to me and these videos. Uh, I just didn't have the time to do it today. It can take quite a bit of time to go in because I like to make sure that I've read them properly and, you know, ponder my answers and things like that. So I just didn't have time to do it today. I will try to go in there this weekend and at least acknowledge, uh, hit that, that heart button on those comments and take note of anything that needs to be discussed. And what I'll do is I'll uh, try to double up next Friday on any comment or question that I would have missed. Now, last Friday, in fact, this is a double whammy here. It's gonna be a triple whammy next week because last Friday, I actually didn't put out a Stitch With Me video. I just did a, uh, uh, I did a 10 minute video on my new start last Friday. So I'm gonna to have to go back two Fridays in order to get make sure that I haven't missed anything. So actually, look at that. I'm even further behind than I thought I was or that I remembered. Isn't that always the case? Anyway, that's okay. We'll get there eventually. Okay, so sew that one in used up the last little bit of that thread. Okay, so we need some more hickory sticks here. It is very rainy here today and I believe it's fairly rainy across the province. We have some terrible flooding happening at the moment uh, in, our, in our province up in the sort of cottage country area, Huntsville, Bracebridge, um, and the pictures on the news are, are really quite something. So I hope, um, if you live in or near those areas, I hope you are safe and dry. And of course, you know, that's just my little part of the world. I know that there are so many other newsworthy things happening, uh, you know, all over the, all over the world. Uh, so just a general if there are events happening in your neck of the woods that are affecting you and your family, I hope you're safe, I hope you're warm, and I hope you're dry.
end of April already. I was uh, thinking about high tea earlier today and yesterday. It is on Sunday, this coming Sunday already. It is time for high tea again already. And I've also been contemplating, <sighs> you knew this was coming, stitch mania. So many people are posting and doing videos on what they're going to be doing for stitch mania. And I have, I will admit, I am feeling a little bit of fear of missing out. And I've been, you know, I even posted a post on, on the Facebook group and I admitted that I was feeling a little bit like I, you know, was considering it and, you know, it, everybody looks like they're having fun. And well, you know, that's like asking a room full of enablers to tell you not to start all the stash when they want to start all the stash too. You, you know, of course, the, the comments I got, it, it run the gamut from, you know, uh, don't do it, <laughs> you're crazy, <laughs> to go for it, do it, you should totally do it. And uh, yeah, so I, I have some ideas in mind. I am not going to do 31 new starts. You know, I just did, uh, I mean, just. Christmas is now, you know, well in the past but it feels like it was yesterday. So I just did Flossmas where I started a new ornament every day. I hardly think I'm in any position to be starting 31 new starts. But I do have a few ideas about how to feel at least like I'm participating somewhat in the fun that is Stitch Mania. So I, but I'm going to save that for Sunday because I think I'm going to roll my ideas for how I'm going to celebrate Stitch Mania into uh, and combine them with my Sunday high tea plans. I think that is appropriate and not at all crazy. <laughs> So yes, the end of April, my son's birthday is on Monday. He is turning 11. I'll let you in on a little secret because by the time, actually no, I, because I'll see you on Sunday, but I'll let you in on a secret that he doesn't know about. He has been asking, he has been begging since he found out his birthday was on a Monday if he could stay home from school for his birthday. Can I please stay home from school on my birthday? I just want to stay home and I just want to do things that are fun here. I just want to take the day off. I don't want to have to do any work or any homework. And, you know, we've been saying, no, 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 you have to go to school. Don't worry, it'll be fun. You'll see your friends. But we both, I mean, John and I both know he would much rather. <laughs> he likes his friends, but he, he, he's not a lover of school. <laughs> Not that he, you know, hates it or anything, but he would much rather stay at home and do fun things here. So we, I am going to wait until Monday morning and then surprise him and after breakfast, once he starts getting ready for school, and I'll say, surprise, you can stay home for the day. And I think he's going to, uh, it's going to make his day. So I'm kind of excited about that because I can't wait to see his face. <laughs> It's gonna be fun. We usually, you know, the kids are the birthdays are the day that they get spoiled, completely rotten. So they have whatever they want for breakfast. So if he wants ice cream for breakfast, then ice cream it is. And uh, they get to do whatever they want for the day. So I have a feeling there will be a fair bit of video game playing happening on Monday. So as far as my Monday floss tube goes, I, I suspect that I'm going to have to record up in the, in the, uh, in my teaching space again, if I want to have a video, get a video done with some, uh, some quiet, <laughs> too funny. Here we go. Look at these 
windows filling in. Looking pretty good. Turning 11. Uh, our magnolia tree is starting to bloom. Feels a little early this year for the for how far along the buds are, but uh, I'm not complaining. The forecast looks good. Uh, we usually have to, you know, if there's risk of frost, then I immediately start worrying about the magnolia because those 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 buds and blooms once they start to bud, once they get past a certain point, if we get a frost, it just kills them, and then you know, we sort of lose out on that, that magnificence that is a magnolia in full bloom. And it is looking like it's going to be a good year. We have had more not so good years than good years since we have lived in this house. We've been here now hmm, 15, almost 16 years, I guess 15 and a half years that we've lived in this house and you know the magnolia was here when we moved in so uh every year we we kind of look forward to is this going to be a good year is this going to be a year that we have hundreds and hundreds of of huge flowers and it's just such a beautiful time and also both of my kids birthdays are at this time of year sarah's is at the beginning of may and so when the trees start to bud and bloom, it's always a very happy time for me because it, it always reminds me of uh, when my babies were born. So I posted a little picture on Instagram two days ago of when I noticed that the buds were first coming out. And so I will it, it's it's really not, it's really, really yucky outside. So I can't really get any nice video outside today. But if over the weekend, uh, Saturday, tomorrow is supposed to be really nice. So I will try to take a little um, bit of video Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then hopefully we should be able to see the progression of, uh, of those flowers. For last year's Stitch Mania, I did a video series for the whole month of May called Whip Mania. And in fact, I separated those videos out into their own playlist. Uh, in fact, I'm, I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I think I separated those videos out on their own playlist on my channel. And I recorded the Magnolia every morning for each one of those days that I did a video and that was really really fun it was so nice to watch the progression of the flowers and then the leaves came out the leaves started to come out on the tree and by the end of the month the whole tree was just filled in and gorgeous and uh, and that was a lot of fun so I'm not sure I'll do that again this year uh, the daily videos I, I did that in December and I'm sure that I'll do it again at some point, but we've got a lot going on in the family over the next six weeks. So just adding a daily video seems like kind of piling on a bit of craziness that I'm not ready for, which leads me to my next uh, little bit of conversation here. I mentioned a couple weeks ago or videos ago, I don't even remember when, about uh, you know, starting to think about my health and the fact that I have a very sedentary job, I have a very sedentary hobby, I spend a large part of my day parked in my chair. And you know, starting to think about I'm 45, halfway to 50, there's my windows, all done. And perhaps now is the time to start thinking about general health and well-being, moving into my 50s. I, I know I'm five years away, but I don't think it's too early to start thinking about it. Uh, so 
Anyways, where am I going next? Let's see, what should we do next? I hadn't thought that far ahead. I thought it would take me longer to fill in the windows, but it didn't. Hmm. Well, it would be easy. Why don't I just go ahead and finish that square off there. That is in roasted chestnut is the color that will be next. So we'll look in our party bag of tricks here. Just so happens to be on the top. I was toying with the idea of starting another YouTube channel. I know. Starting another YouTube channel that would be more dedicated towards my health and more to the fact motivation to for myself motivation for myself to do the things that I know that I need to do and don't do because well I'd rather be stitching <laughs> I have a feeling there are a few of you out there who can relate so you know I'm thinking about it and I know that I'm mentioning it here because well these Friday videos are a good way they're, they're it's nice for me to feel like I'm having a chat with a friend and I I hope you feel the same way and I'm not I'm not necessarily looking for advice as in should you do it because I mean, I know that some of some of you will say, yeah, absolutely, you should totally do it. And some of you will say, no, you totally shouldn't do it. You're absolutely crazy. Well, I already know that. Um, so I have to kind of think about it for myself and decide if it's something that I really want to take on. And it has to, again, it has to be something that I do for myself. Uh, the number one goal of it would have to be that it would kind of be... Uh, What's the word? Accountability. I started up one, one hole too high there. Accountability to myself for um, taking better care of myself. And I know that sounds silly because, you know, you should just be able to do it, right? Well, that's not my personality. My personality is such that I tend to do better when I feel like I have a responsibility towards someone else, not myself, towards someone else. So if I have, if I say I'm going to do something or if I, you know, make a promise for, to someone else, I feel much more obligated to take care of it. Whereas if it's something that's, you know, oh, I, I should drink eight glasses of water a day. And that's a hint right there because, of course, I'm. if it's going to be a new YouTube channel, then I need to start thinking about new names for a YouTube channel. So um, I have a few ideas. But, you know, telling myself, oh, you should do that, it's never usually enough. There's not enough there to convince me to remember to do it. Whereas if I have to have a daily sort of, sort of check-in, and when I say, you know, a new YouTube channel with videos, I'm talking like, because it's for myself, it would be like a two to three minute daily check-in. Uh, you know, little daily motivation. Did I do the things that I wanted to do? How am I moving closer towards achieving goals in achieving a healthier lifestyle. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Anyways, I'm, I'm kind of talking off the cuff here, but it is something that's been rattling around in my brain. So it would be very, uh, not heavily edited is what I mean. It would be very, uh, you know, casual, just a casual check-in for myself and also for, you know, for anyone else who, who wanted to join in. Uh, I've mentioned Diana's uh, Floss Tube Fit Club several times. And 
it's just a, it's a great place to be. So more, you know, is there any harm in more motivation? I, I'm thinking I, I need something. I need something to hold me accountable to myself. So that's what I'm thinking about anyways. And the reason to start a new, a new channel is because, well, I don't think that would be particularly interesting to most of the people who are, you know, who come to floss tube to watch, uh, stitching. So, and, and you know what, uh, let me be clear. I know that Stitcherista has, has done it and, and probably a few others that off the top of my head, I'm not thinking of clearly at the moment. Um, and I think, I think, Stitch, I think Danielle's done an amazing job of turning her health around and, uh, you know, she's, she's, uh, it's an encouragement. But for me, it's something that I want to separate. I want to keep it separate from my stitching. There's already enough malarkey going on on this channel with the knitting and the uh, Sunday high tea and, and Friday video, Monday video. There's a lot going on. So I think starting out a separate channel would be the way that I would approach it for myself. And then if no one watches it, well... It's, that's not really what it's for anyways. It's really for myself. I have a daily record. I, I'm terrible at writing things down. Really, really terrible. You know, I'll, I'll buy a journal at the beginning of the year and I'll fill out January and the rest of the year is blank. <laughs> but if this YouTube channel has shown me anything, it's that I can actually, I have the capability of being consistent in producing video. So maybe that's the way for me to go. Maybe that's, maybe that's what's going to work for me. All I can tell you is that I've got to do something because my knees certainly aren't getting any better. And I'd like to be healthy and active for any future grandchildren that may come along my way many years from now. <laughs> All right, am I almost at the corner? What do you think? I think I'm almost there. Maybe one more. We'll check. One more stitch. Let's see. I think. I think I'm good. Hopefully I haven't overshot the mark by a thread. Nope, I'm looking good. Okay, time to head down. All right, I, let's see, let's do a few more. Perfect. Okay, so I think my lunch break is over. Uh, I have to go and make another cup of coffee and get back to my sewing machine. <sighs> but I can tell you that once those orders are packaged up, I'm going to be popping my party pants on and I am going to be working on both tiramisu and a little bit of Lizzie Kate tonight as well. That's my plan. So I'll try to post pictures on the Facebook group once I get started. Um, my father-in-law, like I've discussed before, he does now have uh, family dinners with us from Thursday until Sunday. So he is here this evening, so I probably won't get started my stitching until a little bit later than six o'clock. But I'm, I'm hoping that I will be able to stay up past the midnight mark and at least get a nice four to five hour solid chunk of time and progress on my whips. That's the plan. Let's just bring the needle back out to the front and I'll leave it there. We'll call it good. I'll leave you in suspense as to whether or not I can finish my border by Monday. You'll see. Okay, happy Friday, happy weekend, happy stitching. I will see you on Sunday for high tea if you're celebrating with me. And uh, yeah, have a great weekend.
Take care.